It has begun again, Chan. There's a nip in the air, pumpkin spice on the menu, and lawnmowers securely back in the shed because grass dies on its own eventually. We have officially entered the fall release window. It's the most wonderful time of the year, Brother Shu, for extremely specific given values of time, year, and wonderful. Yes, though financial sheets separate the second half of the year into distinct quarter three and quarter four releases, the gamer calendar more intuitively designates everything from September 1st to Christmas as a single substantially more interesting lump of time, representing the release window for every single high-profile AAA blockbuster game that didn't end up getting delayed until March. Exciting new titles like Deathloop and Back for Blood. Franchise heavy hitters like Far Cry 6, Forza Horizon 5, and Call of Duty Vanguard. And also Skyrim again somehow. Okay, so it's not the most densely packed release schedule, but remember that this is taking place in a year in which we're sending each other congratulatory bouquets for wearing pants again. The fall release window spirit is still there. I was unaware that the fall release window had a specific spirit, brother, other than a kind of general, low-level video game-based avarice. Well, yeah, that's it, pretty much. Let's be honest, we're overlapping with the holiday season, most of the good spirits are taken. A breakneck pathological need to purchase and then play approximately four hours of 16 distinct 30-hour experiences before abandoning them to the shelf is as close as we have to tradition. Should we take a moment and contemplate how utterly depressing that is, brother? Not at all, Chan. We move on to the next distraction. Outrun the darkness, that's our strategy. And while the AAA releases may be thin on the ground this year, the smaller independent studios have been steadily cranking out enough software to choke a legion of festive holiday donkeys. They've got what gamers love, quantity. There are a large number of indie games, brother, but they also have a tendency to be somewhat less reviewed and less curated than larger releases. How should the gaming masses decide which titles to pull the trigger on? Well, I mean, does it matter? We already know they're just going to play them for about 15 minutes and then go back to some major publisher's horrible live service game they've been stuck in a long-term abusive relationship with. Just find the indie game with the flashiest trailer or the dad jokiest name, like you were going to anyway, and fulfill your obligation to the great charade. Your motivational lecture series never did take off, did it, brother? People aren't all that fond of hearing the truth, it turns out. Of course, brother. Whether it's possible, a lot of the annual purchasing bacchanalia is driven by little more than simple nostalgia for times in which a single, big release defined the year. Grand Theft Auto V, Fallout 4, Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe in times like these, when the year doesn't have one title emerging as a clear winner, our compulsion to purchase multiple new titles is little more than an effort to return to the stability of that single year-defining game. Well, that's a bit depressing, Chen, but frankly, whatever moves the 20,000 physical copies of Six Steps to Capybara we had pressed works for me. We really overestimated the public's taste for gripping interactive dramas about a South American rodent's struggles with alcoholism. I blame David Cage. In any case, the fall release schedule is what it is, and while this fall may not have any sort of singular defining blockbuster like in years past, it does still have that one crucial element that forms the very bedrock of our industry. A re-release of Skyrim. Until next time, video gamers! Still here, searching for more of our antics? Why, this is the internet, video gamers! Just subscribe and let us come to you! Also be sure to hit the notifications button, because otherwise YouTube doesn't believe you really mean it. Trust issues, brother, they've been hurt before.